What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Top Flight Podcast. You know what it is. You know what we're here to do. Back in studio today, beautiful Austin, Texas, here with the Top Flight Titans, the boys. To my left, I got B. How you doing, mate? Doing great, bro. Another beautiful day here in Austin, Sunday. You know, uh, I love being here with you guys every week, man. I love it. Life is different when you got playoffs clinched, right? It's even better when it's a home playoff clinch. Ooh, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. I got to introduce the man to my right. The big bad wolf himself, Bali ATX. What's up, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, bro? How Good. you doing? I'm doing great. Doing you must great. be doing fantastic. Yeah, I'm, doing, I'm buzzing. I'm really Playoffs buzzing. clinched. Yeah. Arsenal top of the league. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm happy. I'm you're happy. good. I'm buzzing. I'm, I'm very, very happy. You even look like you're glowing, bro. I've been glowing, baby. Dang. I love that. I've been I love glowing. that. Okay. And on the ones and twos, we got Primo, everybody's favorite cousin. What's up, mate? How are you? What's up, bro? I'm feeling good. Came back from... Uh, the Madrid watch party. Yeah, sir. At Hop Squad, right? Yeah, we got the dub. It was like 30 people there, bro. It was a good turnout. Jeez. It was like 30 Real Madrid fans, bro. Yeah, were well, you sipping, Primo? Yeah, I had one beer. The, you were, one beer. were sipping yesterday, too. I was like, did you wake nah. up home over or not? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, okay, okay. I tried the uh, the Spanish Pilsner, Spanish beer or whatever, the, yeah. the Bernabeu. El Bernabeu. It is really good. Yeah. I recommend it to everybody that goes to Hop Squad. I'm not trying that shit. I, I, I recommend it. But hey, let's get right into it. We got a great show for everybody. Some uh, important things that happened so far in Austin FC. It's club history. Playoffs have been clinched. A home playoff was clinched last night against Nashville. But I want to get right into it. Primo, um, the first topic, overall thoughts on the match. Let's get yours first. Go ahead, mate. What were your overall thoughts of last night's match? I mean... In my opinion, just Nashville's a tough team, bro. I've always said that, and I'm always going to say that. Um, I mean, it was an important game for us. We clinched our home playoff game with it. Um, and I was hoping a little bit more from the team, but at the same time, uh, a draw wasn't too bad. Uh, we did have a rotating squad at the end of the day. Um, a lot of our main guys were on the bench. I um, mean, you can really see the difference. But uh, the rotation is crucial right now. We got we we got played a we played a game on Wednesday, um, and then we got you know these important playoff games coming in soon. So overall, I think it was it was good for what it was. Hundred percent. B, your overall thoughts on uh, last night's match versus <coughs> Nashville, bro? It's a good game. Good game. Uh, like Primo said, Nashville's a tough opponent. We got spanked by them last time played uh, away at Nashville three zero. So. You know, I was seeing this as like a little revenge game, um, a lot of rotation uh, for this game. And uh, despite, you know, the rotation coming in with a 1-1 draw, I think it was a good result. Uh, we clinched home playoffs with this with this result. So overall, I'm quite happy, bro. It is what it is. I'm, the reason why I'm quite happy is because we did have a lot of rotations. So it was good. Bali, let's get your overall thoughts on last night's match, bro. I think uh, despite the rotation and some of these players that, have been played for a while, like Johan Romain and this stuff like that. Uh, some of these guys came in and then they they stepped up. You know, they played well for us, and uh, we were in the game. You know, we could have won. We had opportunities, but they uh, Nashville had opportunities too, so they could have won too. But you know, I'll take the draw and uh, we move on, man. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. Interesting match last night. Stadium was packed. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that we have to note: uh, the sellout streak extends to thirty-three matches. Oh, Austin wow. FC. Keep on breaking records. Uh, extended last night. Full house last night versus Nashville. I want to keep it moving, y'all. Austin MC segment. Let's get into the lineup. Primo, if you could please bring up the starting 11 from last night. Now, a lot of fans in the past couple of Twitter spaces, the last couple of fan reactions, and really on the, on the Twitter timeline, have been asking for rotations. A lot of you guys here with me, Bali, yeah. Brian, Primo, also you, We've been asking for rotations because we've been playing the same squad for multiple, multiple games, right? Probably this season, bro. Last night, yeah. last night we got what we wanted, what a lot of the fans wanted to be. What was your first reaction when you saw this starting 11? Um, when I saw the, the the lineup come out, when when Austin dropped the lineup, I saw I was like, oh shit, a lot of rotations. I'm down. Let's get it. Uh, Romagna's back in the starting lineup. He hasn't started in a... I can't remember the last time that he started. Uh, Valencia finally getting some a start after coming back from injury. Owen Wolf getting the start. Uh, Regoni getting the start as well. We're trying to build him up to being a 90-minute fit. And then Musa Jite, after scoring that hat-trick, uh, gets a start as well. So I was down. I was down for these guys. Um, 
we clinched playoffs uh, last game, and um, so you know we're not gonna risk anything too much. We will be in playoffs, so rotation was due, and uh, our guys needed rest. Like you said, we play every single the, the same lineup every game. You know, Maxi, you know, Ring, uh, Julio, everybody. Uh, uh, they deserved a break, and they got it. And the guys stepped up, in my opinion. I think Romagna had a great game. You could definitely tell that he was a little bit of uh, you know his energy levels. A little gas. He looked a little tired here and there, but that's what happens when you don't play often. And um, I thought Valencia had a great game. I think out of all the people that, uh, out of all the players that started um, in his rotated lineup, I think they did pretty well. Bali, on the Johan Romagna topic, what was your uh, your thoughts on his performance last night? Because he's really the main rotation that we saw yeah. in the defense last night. Like we mentioned, we had John Gallagher started left back. Romagna was that change for Julio Cascante, who has racked up an enormous amount of minutes this season, passing the 2,400-minute mark. Ruben Gabrielson, who was the captain last night, by the way. Alex Ring came oh, in. Was? Alex Ring came in and didn't take the captain badge from him. Oh, yeah. But Alex Ring came in previously in other games. Games, and he took the captain armband from uh, Drusi. So I thought that was interesting. Little detail there. But what were your thoughts on Johan, Johan Romagna's game? It was a it was a good game by Johan. You know, he he came out there and he showed a fight. He almost had a goal. He did. It cleared was off cleared the line. off the line, which is, and he he was a showing fight, man. Uh, he uh, he played good to me. You know, he did look like I do agree with B. He did look a little gassed. You know, maybe not. Maybe his fitness isn't up to speed yet. But that comes with with games and with time, man. And I think that just him getting his feet wet and getting a start was good for him, man. He had a great game, bro. A lot of, and the fans, a lot of the fans were saying, "Hey, hey, Bali, jo Johan Romagna had a great game." Yeah, yeah. He yeah, really did, yeah. Did. They came he actually really because did. you said he should be playing for Longhorns. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, he had a great game, bro. Yeah, he had a, he, he had a good game, and uh, I was proud of him. I think before this game, B, I want to bring you in on this. Yeah. Uh, uh, still on the Johan uh, Romagna topic because some fans had a lot to say about him. The last time he started a match was was this Charlotte? Mm. Uh, Primo, can you please br uh, bring up the lineup for Austin FC against Charlotte, that 1-0 game uh, where Danny Pereira scored that goal, please, while uh, I get your take on Johan Romagna last night, B? Yeah, I mean, he hasn't started since Charlotte. And uh, I always, I mean, look, Romagna hasn't, um, we've, with him, we've always questioned his attitude. We've always questioned his uh, desire to be in the starting lineup. There was some stuff that came up back in the day. You know, he, he did have a new a newborn child this year. So uh, I don't think we ever questioned his abilities, bro. At least I have not. I haven't. I didn't question his abilities. I just maybe questioned his desire, his uh, attitude towards being benched. And I remember when Kip came in the lineup, you know, everybody was like, oh, Kip, 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 Kip. And uh, Julio and Gaberson have just done a great job. I know Julio, you know, he's he's been behind a couple of mistakes, but it is what it is. And he's been favored. For he's Josh Wolf's favorite center back pairing, Julio and Gaberson. And I think this game shows you that Romagna is, is there, bro. Is there. And uh, yeah, he did start against Charlotte. So that, yeah, that was his last start against Charlotte oh, wow. when Dani Pereira scored that goal. That's uh, July 1st. July 1st was the last time that Johan Romagna had a start. So definitely he looked like a, a center back last night that hadn't started in a long time, but he had a great performance. Yeah, and he was also injured for, for a long period of time. Yeah. yeah. So Primo, can you bring up the uh, graphic posted by Where Austin TV uh, on Johan Romagna's quote? I want to read that for the for the fans real quick. It was also posted on Twitter. Uh, and it's, it's him talking to uh, reporter Michelle Sanchez. Uh, it, he wasn't in the press conference, but she caught up with him in the i guess in the tunnel okay. after the game okay. in, in, in the tunnel and they uh they got to uh, speak go ahead primo keep scrolling right, there it is right there romagna said after a long time of not being able to play due to injuries or adverse circumstances i feel very happy and very grateful to the coaching staff for giving me the opportunity today i'm blessed Good attitude, Beautiful. bro. I like yeah, it. It, is I like it, it is. I mean, what else? What else would he say? <laughs> you know, <it's>, I mean, <laughs> right. uh, yeah, great response. You know. He's up for the challenge. I mean, he's you know, up he's for the there. challenge. So Julio gets a much needed rest, and um, you know, we always we've we've harped on Julio before about his mistakes, and um, yeah, I don't know, maybe Romagna if he can get fit. Uh, I mean, it's getting close to the end of the season. I, you would assume that he'd get more minutes. I, I mean, don't think he would fight for the starting position, yeah, but it's so, but yeah. it's it's good to know that we have a guy that's ready to step up. Yeah. Yep. Plus, right? Julio's getting so much needed rest. Yes, for sure. 100%. Uh, I want to keep it moving. Moving up top to the midfield, still on the lineup talk. Midfield rotations happened last night. We had Owen and Valencia starting last night. Bali, I want to get your thoughts on that. What, were your, uh, what was your initial reaction when you found out that Owen and Valencia were in the starting lineup? I was uh, I was a little surprised, but uh, I really really liked uh, Valencia's performance. He had a, a an unbelievable shot from outside. From downtown. If he would have made that, that would have been goal of the season. Yeah. I think so. That yeah. would have been goal of the season, bro. Yeah. That 
it was a beautiful shot and he, he was a he was a he was playing well owen had a, had a good game too he was he was trying but uh you, know, you, you could tell whenever danny came in the ring that the energy kind of changed and uh, those are our starters. But uh, I really like Valente, to be honest. I want to see more of him. And he was also injured for a while. So some of these guys have injuries. They're trying to get back to speed. Yellow card trouble. Yeah, also, also. But uh, I really like Valente's performance, to be honest. B, I want to get you in on the same uh, question. What were your thoughts on Owen and Valencia's performance last night? You Valencia. had a good view. You were, you know, yeah. down there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Valencia and Owen we had a game. Um, you know, out of all the players that, like I, like I mentioned, out of all the players that kind of can they came in? I think uh, Romagna obviously I think made the biggest impact, but Valencia played great. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a tough Nashville team. I mean, Nashville did destroy us with our quote unquote best team and uh, our bench players. You could say Valencia, Romagna, Wolf, um, you know, came in and did a job against a tough opponent, Nashville. So I think they did great. I think Valencia did great as well. Um, it's getting to that point at the end of the season where it's time to do the rotations. It's time to see these players and. Um, <laughs> You know, come playoff game, I think we uh, Wolf has an idea of our strongest team, and you know some of these players are trying to showcase their their abilities. They haven't played in a while. You know, maybe some contract changes and some contracts are up. Yeah. This is the time where you're like, hey, look, this is what I got. Mm -hmm. So I think they did great. Valencia did pretty good. That uh, shot, bro. That shot was that incredible. Was, that, shot, was a, that was a really if, nice if, shot. If that would have gone in, the stadium would have erupted. Yeah. 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 Stadium would erupt. It was a long way out, long way out. Primo, they're getting the uh, highlights for us. The shot just going off the top of the crossbar, bro. And also Nashville had an, an answer shortly after. They did. Because they, did. they also had a shot just scrape the top of the bar right there. Brad Stuber just just thinking to himself how 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 lucky he got. You know, yeah. our, our shot was just moments before this. Uh, I do want to keep it rolling. We got to talk about a little bit in the attack. We had a little bit of some changes moving uh, into the attacking position of this lineup. We had Finley, Rigoni, and Drusi. B, I want to get you in on this, bro. Did that attack work for you, bro? Or is Fago just going to have to start every game? Fago is going to... Fago will start our playoff game 100%. He will be one of the main guys on the field 1000% Fago when he came in off the bench he made an impact with that with that cor uh, corner so Fago will play um, the other issues are our new signing uh, DP Mel Rigoni is trying to get up to pace with the rest of the squad which is difficult because I mean this squad has been playing for uh, uh, the entire season you know uh, Finley is going to be the question you know Rigoni and Finley Rigoni and Finley and um, that's a tough one bro but I'm going to have to say Finley deserves to start the playoff game uh, um come you know i think regon is going to be featured in the next two games that we have left in the season to get up to pace but i feel like uh finley has earned himself a start in the playoffs bro i think that he's he's earned it bali i want to ask also the same question to you last night the attack of ethan drusi and rigoni did it cut it for you did you think that maybe they were disconnected a bit because fagundes came in austin scored thoughts on that to me they, they did okay but you know, uh, to me, you know, Ethan Finley, you know, to me, his his speed, his fitness, you know, the fight that he shows, the aggressiveness, everything about him, you know, I said what I said about him, you know, but I, I kind of want to take it back a little bit because the guy's pr proving me wrong, you know, he's coming out and and proving that he he deserves to start, you know, he kept uh, he was uh, he kept uh, he was starting, he was playing well, and then he was the first guy being subbed off for for Emiliano Rigoni, and now I, I feel like you know he needs to start over him. 100%. Playoff yeah. game, he needs to start. You know, what I say is uh, Emiliano Rigoni has two more games to to, to, show something. to make his uh, argument mm -hmm. and starting. And w I don't know what he can do in two games to overthrow a player like Ethan Finley who's done so well over the course of the season, bro. I mean, he would have to score back-to-back -back hat tricks or something for mm -hmm. him to even consider to be yeah. a start in the playoff game because Finley has done so much for us during the whole season. Primo, I want to get you in on this, bro, on the Rigoni aspect of things. Uh, your seat last night for the Nashville match was right next to Rigoni's side. Now, you said that you weren't really impressed with him. You want to tell the fans why? Yeah, bro. Um, I mean, kind of like B was saying, it's going to take this guy to, you know, a while to get up to pace and for him to just start clicking with the system that we have. You know, we obviously play – a uh, really good system under w Josh Wolf, and he's integrated that really well in, in squad, and everyone's really good at following directions and, you know, expectations. Um, but with Rigoni coming in, I just see him struggling a little bit with that. Um, I don't see him playing the way that Finley plays when he's on that side. Um, you know, 
you gotta hug that sideline, man. You yeah. gotta hug it. You gotta be there. And this guy likes cutting in a lot. So yeah. he'll run. I literally saw him do this like five or six times where where he'll he'll run along the sideline and then he'll just cut in. Yeah, there was and then when the instances. ball was already in the middle, you know, it's all it's kinda crowded in there. They look for the pass on the outside and there's no one there. Yeah. And I f- I feel like Finley does that really well where he's in the right position. So hopefully he's able to, you know, figure that out and, and say, hey, you know, okay, I got to play with the team. You know, he's kind of playing on his own and, you know, he, he wants to do his own thing right now, which is kind of understandable. I mean, you come into a new league, you want to show out, you want to – you're a DP. Um, but this is a system, man. We we have a good team going on. We're going into playoffs where it's going to be really important to play uh, the way we've been playing. So. And yeah, one thing on Emiliano Rigoni is just he seems to to be a character in the in the in the in the dressing room. He yeah. seems to be like a, you know, he's got character to him. Where I could see him kind of like say, nah, like I need to start. You know what I mean? Or like, nah, like. And Ethan Finley seems like the type of guy. And I don't know these guys personally, but you know, he's such a like a, 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 a just. You know the w- coach Wolf says do this, and he'll all right, boss. You know he'll get to work. He's done the, the 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 physical side of it, and I feel like maybe Ethan Finley would be the type of guy that would be like, all right, okay, well, if I gotta sit on the bench, as soon as as soon as my name is called, I will deliver. And um, I feel like either way it goes, I think we're we're good whether Milano starts or Finley starts. But I I do feel like Finley deserves the start. All right, I wanna just get y'all's um y'all's take just on one more thing: the subs coming in, Bali. Uh, Josh Wolf brought in the whole house around minute 60. We had Danny Pereira come in, Alex Ring come in, uh, Diego Fagundes come in, and then later on, like minute 87, we had Maxi come in. You know, Josh Wolf got a lot of his players some rest that was very needed. But was Josh Wolf's game plan good with these subs, bringing them in around minute 60? I think they were good. I think, of course, you need to give these guys rest. So, regardless, you know, uh, you got to give some of these guys rest. But I think that the subs coming in did good for us. You know, you can tell as soon as they came in that the intensity changed. We were all over Nashville. You know, we had opportunities. Diego coming in, the drive that he brings. Danny, you know, the quarterback, as we know now. The quarterback, Josh. Wolf, Josh quarterback. Was, yeah, Josh Wolf called him the quarterback. Yeah, the quarterback. So, uh, and then it was a, uh, it, it was good, bro. You know, I think that, um, uh, I think the guys just need to get more playing time. I think that we will see rotations against Vancouver, and against Colorado just to give these guys some rest. Josh Wolf did mention that there was a, a friendly game that they were playing uh, next week, I believe. Yeah, with the uh, Laredo Locomotive, something yeah, like so that. Yeah, something like that. That they're going to try to schedule it. So uh, that's good. You know, he's trying to get these guys going. He's trying to get them fit. So uh, that's good for us, man. I think it's Laredo Locomotive. Or I'm sorry if, 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 if I got uh, the wrong. El Paso. El Paso. Or El Paso. Yeah, El Paso? Laredo. I'm, I'm tripping. El Paso. El Laredo. Paso. Laredo. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I don't know why I said Laredo. El Paso. I'm sorry. Sorry to all the El Paso fans out there. I know uh, Jorge, um, the one from Austin Anthem, he's an El Paso fan. Nice. Um, Primo, let's keep it rolling. Unless, B, you have a take on the subs? No, nah, man, good subs. I mean, look, the subs, you you read, you read the names. Maxi, Diego, I mean. Danny. Danny, I mean, <laughs> come on, bro. You know what I mean? Imagine if we had a squad where we had that type of quality of players coming off the bench every game. That would be, I mean, it's insane. So, yeah. it, was, it was good good subs. I mean, you can't go wrong. And real quick, before we move on to the next topic of the Top Flight Podcast, Austin FC segment, I want to just sh- uh, send a shout-out real quick. Even though he did concede the penalty, John Gallagher, I think he had a pretty good match. Nick Lima also, yeah. solid game by them. Solid game by, by those two guys. Zan? Zan? Bali, you want to say it? Nah, I, I already told you I'd rather not speak. You know, right. I'd rather not say anything. But, <laughs> Chills, you know, it, it's, a, it's, it's great to see Gallagher, man. His improvement. As a left back, has, a, has been great, bro. I'm very proud of him. 100%. Uh, Primo, you want to roll us into the next topic after the lineup? Uh, after lineup thoughts and thoughts on the rotation, we got – so we got our home playoff clinched. Who would you rather play in the playoffs? We got RSL, Portland, Galaxy, or Vancouver. That's possible points. 100%. Home playoff clinched. And I want to start this segment off by reading the quote of uh, Joshua, what he had to say last night, if I, if I may. Says uh, Josh Wolf said, difficult game, difficult night, playoff type. It was choppy and chippy, but at the end of the day, it's a long journey. We're 32 games in. Clinching clinching a home playoff game is important. It's something to be proud of. We still have the opportunity to to clinch the second place spot. That's our next objective. Now, B, I want to ask you first, mate. We, We clinched playoffs. Home playoffs clinched also. Now, the teams that we might face right now, things can can change still, but it, we're in, in, in the range of these teams, all right? I'm going to ask you, who would you rather face? You ready? Mm-hmm. We got RSL, Portland, Galaxy, and Vancouver. Take your pick. 
I think I'm gonna go with RSL, man. RSL, we uh, we smacked them three zero. So shit, I'd rather have RSL out of all those. Um, I would I wouldn't mind Galaxy either. Uh, I think Portland and Minnesota are the two teams that I don't want to see right away. Uh, that's my picks. Bali, same same question to you, Oof, mate. Man, home that's... playoffs clinched. Playoffs clinched. Mm. Now we need to start thinking about who we're gonna play in this big party. First time ever, club yeah. history. You know I told what? you who I, they are. I, 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 I wouldn't I wouldn't mind RSL, but you know what? Uh, I wouldn't mind LA either. Chicharito. I, I wouldn't mind kicking his ass. Ricky Puch? Round. Ricky yeah. Puch, though? That team might be hard. Yeah, Ricky yeah, Puch. it would be. It would be, but their defense is kind of weak. So okay. I think we can expose them. Okay. And like Galaxy right now is in seventh place currently, folks. If nothing changes, if things remain the same, that's who we would be playing. But Primo, I got to ask you the same thing, mate. Who would you rather play out of those teams that we just mentioned? Out of those teams, mm, I'm going to go with Galaxy. I want to be Galaxy. Galaxy? Yeah, I think that would make a big statement after you know and yeah, that would. Like uh like Bali said, their defense is a little shaky. They've been kinda in the mud a little bit. Um I know they got new players that came in, but um I would like to see them in the playoffs as the first round. Maybe RSL, but I wouldn't mind Galaxy. The possibility of uh Minnesota also uh looms there too, bro. That's right? gonna, that'll be a tough one. That's yeah. a tough one, bro. That's a, That's tough, a game. tough one. I would want to play one. one playoff game first before. Bro, Man, you, know, hard, bro, bro. you know who is who I love from that team? Minnesota, and I'm sorry, Austin fans, but uh, Reynoso, he plays there in Minnesota. Dude, that guy's a baller, yeah. bro. He's the one that made Ethan Finley foul him in in the box yeah. whenever we played them a couple matches ago. I think that guy's incredible, bro. Yeah, all-star. All-star, yeah. too. Him and Drusia are friends. They were yeah, all, they are buddies. They were all talking. Yeah, they're buddies. Is they the Argentina el también, no? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think maybe, Reynoso maybe is from is. Argentina. I maybe think he is. he is. I mean, the MLS uh, exports more players from Argentina than any league, any league in the yeah, world. So true. Something right there. Uh, let's see. Anything you, you boys want to add on to the, uh, the fact that we clinched the home playoff and the teams that we're going to face? Uh, Could possibly face. I'm sorry. I mean, dude, a playoff game in Austin, the IQ2, uh, my God, I can't even... I mean, it gets it gets lit during a, a regular MLS game. I can't imagine. I mean, you would think that Austin would have something. Pre- you, you would think that Los Verdes would have something prepared. Maybe a Tifu. Maybe, maybe if they could expand the flares to, to 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 the outside of of the stadium. Maybe not. I don't know what the protocols are. But like, we gotta we gotta show out because this is, all eyes are gonna be on us. Our first ever MLS game. We gotta make it memorable. And I hope that like it gets packed. I mean, I want to see a wall of like Verde, bro. Just. I want to, you know, I want to show out, bro. I hope they give us like a green flags, everyone green yes, flags. Oh, you yeah. know? Oh, that would be that would be nice, bro. That, that would be, be they gotta do something, bro. Yeah, yeah. Tifo would be nice Tifo too. Tifo would be nice if they give us like a cutout and just make a green wall or something or like some 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 something, bro. Like, gotta, like the boards that we could just like, yes, you know, everybody yes, put up, yes. uh, Dortmund style. No, da, well, yellow wall, yellow wall, bro, green wall, nice. the green that wall. Nice. Dorman, they dude, there's flares all in the stadium. Like, I mean, I don't even know if we could be allowed to do that. But yeah. well, that that's cool. what I'm seeking. That would be cool. It has to be different. It has to be different. It has to be different, bro. First, bro, boys, first time, bro. This yeah, is man. history, man. Yeah. This is yeah. history. This is history. And Bali, just like how we were talking earlier, we were looking at this uh, table and we were thinking, man, this is serious. It is serious because you know, if if we play our our cards right, you know, we could. Play a home game back to back all the way to the final. Things have to go our way. They with have other to go our way, well. but we could have a final here. And if if things go good on the other side, if NYFC or something, we could have the final here. Yeah. At, Look, and the one Q2. thing's one thing's for sure. If we can lock down second place, which looks like we can, because we're five points above Dallas with two games left, it looks like we're gonna clinch it. It looks like we're gonna lock down number two. For one thing's for sure is we'll have two home playoff games. Yes. yes. Yeah. So. With that, I'm like, let's go, bro. Yeah, yeah. that's that, that's massive. True. And shout out to every Austin fan out there that was down bad last season. I know my G Bali out here was yeah, going stressing. through some some stuff, stressing. We we're in playoffs, bro. Yeah. We're in playoffs, and we got a home playoff game. You know, just like Joshua said, this is something to be proud of, boys. Um, let's see. We can move on to the next topic, primo, which is. Uh, can you read it for us? Uh, yeah. So for the f- our first playoff match at the Q2. Uh, what would what would you be uh, what would be your lineup? What's oh. your lineup? Oh. Ooh. Damn, that's a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. And uh, we also want to ask the fans of the Top Flight Podcast: uh, Who should start the first playoff game at Q2, based off what you've seen this season? You yeah. know, who do you think should be in that starting eleven? Real quick, B, Oof. if you can sum it up for us. 
Okay, Stuber starting. I think I would have Julio and Gaberson. Julio uh, and Gaberson? Yeah, I would have Johan Julio. Is, Johan looks like he's in form. Is, eh, well, he needs to – He, I don't know. If Johan starts against Vancouver and starts against Colorado, which I don't think he will. No, nah, Cascante. Uh, Cascante has gone back. So I, it, it would have to be Julio. So I would have uh, uh, Gallagher, Julio, Gaberson, and Lima in the back four. I would have Donnelly, Ring, Drew, C in the midfield. I would have Maxi as a number nine. I would have Fago on the left. And then the only real question, the Uh-oh. only real uh, thought Uh-oh. Uh-oh. would be on that on that, on that, that uh, uh, right wing position. And you would, I would say Finley because he's earned it. Um, but Emiliano Rigoni is trying to get up to form. And yeah. he might have a, 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 thing or two, a thing or two to say about that. So. He's also a DP. That's a big, yeah. uh, that's a big weight. I wouldn't me. mind. I wouldn't mind if, if he starts, I'm not going to be mad. I'm not going to be like, what the fuck? Because I feel like Finley was the type, like I said earlier, I feel like Finley's the type of player that, all right, like, as soon as my name is called, watch. I'm ready, coach. I'm ready, coach. So ready. That's, that's what I got. Bali, do you agree with B I, or would you change something? I agree with B. I agree with B. But then I would I would 100% go with Finley. 100%. 100%. 110 maybe? Uh, 150. Damn. 150, 100? you know. 100 and Finley. 200. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Oh uh, Yeah, man. I mean, to me, uh, I think it's, just, it's, it's not enough time for Rigoni. And I think just bringing him on from the bench, maybe he can bring something different, you know. But uh, to me, you know, Finley needs to start, bro. His, 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 his fitness is great. Speed, you know, mate. It was a uh, – I saw him running the whole game last yeah. night. I mean, the he, whole he, he game. wouldn't stop running. Like That's what he does for you, bro. I was bro. like, God. That's what he man. does. Mm-hmm. That's what he does so for you. I, I, think, uh, I think Finley starts, man. Yeah. Primo, anything you would change or you agree with both Bali and B? Yeah, I mean, I think I that's what our lineup is going to be. It's the lineup that's been consistent for a really long time, and they've showed us uh, some great results. So I have no doubt that this these uh, these guys can, can get the job done. Um, since we all kind of agreed on the lineup and nothing is really different, who would you think would come in? Like, say we're losing. That's a good or question. Or say we're winning. Yeah. I think um, okay. I, I'm gonna just answer this yeah. one real quick, pretty much. Just one one thing. This is my uh, idea, based off of what I saw from Valencia yesterday. Um, yeah. Depending on what kind of game we have on our hands, depending what the result is, Josh Wolf is gonna be like, "Oh, I'm gonna call on this guy. I'm gonna choose this Pokemon." You know what I'm saying? Valencia. <laughs> Valencia has shown that he has a shot. Yeah. Defensive efforts are pretty damn good. Yeah, he's aggressive. I would rather have Valencia coming in on top of like Felipe, on top mm-hmm. of Owen, maybe. But I'm not the gaffer. That's 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 my guy coming in. And like B said, Rigoni maybe coming off the bench. I don't know. Go ahead. Yeah, B. I mean Rigoni is for sure is gonna be his first weapon of choice if he wants to change stuff up. I think he's gonna have to bring in Rigoni if Rigoni uh, is on the bench. 100. percent That's the first move. In the midfield, I I I agree with you. He would lean Valencia, but you know. Yeah, I mean, I would say Felipe, but I think Valencia has more qualities to him. No disrespect to Felipe, but Valencia starting to show us that he's that player that we thought we signed. Yes, that's what you like yeah. to say a lot. Yes, you like yes. to say that yes. a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you do say that a lot. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, Gite, Valencia, and Emiliano Rigoni would be like the main, uh, the main weapons, guys, the main weapons for 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 Wolf to change shit up. Okay, Bali, who would you rather? The, question for you. This is a like a sub question. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get specific with it because a lot of fans came after oh you for this one. Oh my god, here we go, bro. Here we Depending go. Depending on who the striker is, right? Let's say Maxi starts. Most yeah. likely, Maxi mm-hmm. will start. Who's coming out off of the bench for him first? Is it Musa coming off the bench for Maxi, or is it Husin coming off the bench for Maxi? Mm. That's a that's a good question. It's it's a very good question. Um, who you got? You no, know, right now, I think right now. I think I would. I, would, I think I would go with Musa right now, just because you know he's, he's right. he had a hat trick not too long ago, Goddamn and right, I brother. think uh, when we played against RSL, you know, um, we were in the, we were in the game, but Musa came in and he started just uh, exposing the the RSL defense. You yeah. Know? And then uh, yes. Ruben said something very very clear. He said uh, he was like a bully and he bullies me in training. So maybe we need that. Maybe we need that some, wow. in some games. So I think that uh, definitely uh, I would go with uh, first maybe Rigoni. But I think uh, Joshua would definitely uh, pick Musa to come in from the bench. B? Just to bring some 100%. I said strength. that before. Um, I'm glad you see this, you see it the way I see now. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I said it before. You know, Husin's a great player coming off the bench. He, he has these small little sparks, but he doesn't do it often enough. And I think Jite is a little bit younger, a little bit more physical, a little bit uh, uh, more pacier, uh, just a little bit of everything a little better than, than Husin, in my opinion. And um, he did score a hat trick, so he's a little he's got a little swag to him now. So... 100% agree. 
Okay. All right. Um, one of the last topics of the Austin FC segment is the Vancouver preview. Real quick, Ooh. score prediction, Primo. I'm starting off with you. Score prediction. Vancouver away. Vancouver away. 1-0 of it's a rotating squad. 1-0 Van- for who? Austin winning. Austin wins? Which I think we are going to keep going out with this rotating squad okay. until I playoffs. So, so I'll get like a 1-0. Okay. Josh Wolf did say that they still have an objective, which is to clinch that second place spot. So Austin FC still has goals. You know, foot foot not off the gas. Depending on Dallas, uh, a, a, a draw or a win here would clinch it. Next game? Yeah. Okay. I hope so because that leaves Colorado as like a freebie. And yeah. it's at home. And yeah. it's at home. It's at home. So you could play so Michael Burton. Sh- I think Redis is time to come through. You could through. play Redis. Dude, Redis. I forgot about Redis, Redis, bro. Redis dog? For real. Manchita. Manchita, Manchita still. Too? He's still out with an ab- abdominal he's injury. He's done. Injury. He's done. He's and it's done. been 14 he's days, done. mate. Wow. What's up with it? He's done. He, ne- he needs to check flight prices right now bro ecuador might not even go to the world cup man yeah that's a whole no that's thing. a whole other yeah, issue yeah, for yeah. him we'll bro. talk about it we'll talk about he's it. Da- he's down bad shout yeah. out to my g uh hector will probably see minutes in uh, yeah, the next sure. couple of I'm matches sure. we have kip keller yeah. that will see minutes in the next couple I'm down, of matches bro. that's why let's get this dub uh, uh in vancouver and let's let colorado be like a freebie man get these these players off the bench and, and also playing. we're going into a bit of a break yes international break tiny little break up. tiny little break well, it's good it's, it's good for everybody definitely need it uh, score prediction for Vancouver B. Uh, I agree with Primo. I think I see a one um, zero uh, with a rotated squad. Bali, I think uh, I think we might get a draw. Maybe like a one one. Mm. Yeah, one okay. one. Okay. Uh, Vancouver is in what position? What what place are they in, Primo? They're Vancouver? fighting for playoffs. They they oh. get a win. They. I'm gonna tell you something real slipping. quick. They're, they're ninth slipping. place. Okay, yeah, they're in ninth place. Yeah. I'm gonna go with this. Austin FC wins. 2-0. Drusy Brace. Man, that Ooh. would that would crush Drusy Brace. And that would tie him. That would tie Drusy with uh, Mukhtar. Drusy Brace. Uh-huh. Drusy Brace. I'm calling it right now on the Top Flight Podcast. Uh, okay. Before we switch gears and go into Europe, I do want to send a shout out to Football Critic, who today is his birthday. Oh, yeah? Sweet. Shout out to my G Happy Football Critic. Happy birthday, Football Critic. He always my comes G. on our Twitter spaces, gives some really good takes. A uh, yeah. big Danny Pereira fan. He also had that really good thread on Emiliano uh, Rigoni when we yeah. first signed him. So if uh, – go ahead, B. No, yeah, I just want to say his tweets are top tier, bro. I, I love seeing his tweets on the TL, just like some random facts, some some uh, nice information. So uh, happy birthday, bro. Shout out to the Football Critic. Uh, if you like Austin MC and you're a big fan of Danny Pereira, follow Football Critic, y'all. Shout out, my G. Happy birthday, bro. Yes, sir. Uh, primo, let's hop on the plane, mate. We got to go into Europe, B. Yes, sir. I guess B is the uh, pilot I, uh, today. I had a little rundown going for the for the European section. I think we're going to land in Spain. We're going to go Sheesh. to La Liga, which was the uh, the biggest game of the weekend, the Madrid Derby. Bye, La Vini. Bye, La Vini. A lot of talk. Bye, La Vini. Bye, La Vini. As we're on the plane, as we're on the plane going to uh, Madrid, we got some more packs right here. Bet, B, bet, take your pick. Bet, let's get it. Pass one to uh, Primo. Bali. Oh, so, oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, let's see who we pack. B, uh, real quick, yeah. you want to tell the people who you have packed so far? Oh yeah, fuck. We've uh, I've been opening these up uh, during the week, and I bagged Mbappe, Mbappe? Ne- Neymar, uh, Messi, and Ronaldo. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, the fridge, Maguire, um, a couple other ones. Nunez. Oh, damn. damn. <laughs> what? Uh, what? I got it. Uh, I got a shit. I don't want. I don't want it. Mate, I got. I, I got a good one, mate. Oh yeah, my would, word. My, 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 I got shit cards. My word, mate. All right, real quick, real quick. Right, I got shit cards. Right, I'll go for now. Let me go first. Right, I have shit start cards. it off. Start it off. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. My best one was this guy, Fabinho. Fabinho. Oh, that's he trash. sucks. That shit. He trash. sucks. He plays for liberal. Uh, nah, liberal shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. You had to look at him. Primo. Yeah, I didn't get too many good cards either. I got my best one, Rodri. Hey, 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 okay, 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 okay. okay. player, I like him. B? I, uh, I got uh, Bernardo Silva. Hey, yes. proper like player, him. proper player. Yes. I guess I got the pack of the of the round because I got. I'm gonna start off with this. Harry Kane. No, oh, no. Harry no. Kane. Nice, no, nice. no, my no. name is Harry Kane. No, no, no. <laughs> No, I also bro. got no, bro. Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez, oh, what? Man. Luis Suarez. Oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> the sticker bit me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got uh, Chris Richards from the USA. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And uh, that's it. 
Yeah, nice. I also okay. got a one uh, honorable mention. Uh, I got a uh, Hinde Mesa Morita who? from Japan. Who? No <laughs> idea who that is, mate. <laughs> I, I'm sure he's a great soccer player, though. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. The Madrid yeah, Derby. Yeah, the Madrid Derby, bro. Um, this is, I think, uh, I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, this is the first La Liga game where I sat and I really, really uh, watched the game. And, and what did you think of it? I thought it was a great Madrid Derby. I think Real Madrid looked freaking great. Um... They come up with a, whole, a lot of a lot of talk before the game about Vinny. You know? Oh, a lot of a talk. A lot of talk. Uh, a lot of talk. You know, Vinny doing his dances, his celebrating dances, and then uh, Coca coming out and, and uh, threatening him, I guess. Yeah, 100%. Saying that, was the, that if that you dance, uh, what, what was the three things? I, I don't have it he up. He said in Spanish, he said, si, si Vinny baila, habrá lío, which would mean like, there, like there will be problems. there's going to be problems. So if you dance on us, there will be problems. So yeah. a lot of a lot of heat coming into this game. So I was very excited um, watching this game. And I thought Madrid looked freaking, oh, my God, they look good, bro. They look good. When I was watching this game, I was like, this is this is the Madrid that I was like, okay, okay, this is the Madrid that I would assume to see play week in, week out. You know, this this in your face football, this and look, I thought I can't believe they did this, bro. Two golazos in my opinion. I mean, the first goal, what a ball. Uh, bro and Rodrigo, what a what a off the half ball. I mean, look at this ball, bro. Not only was the goal great, bro. The pass, look at this. The pass Dink. was in was and then beautiful. Off the, the half volley, bro. The first touch, bro. bro. But the fact that they danced at the Wanda yeah, bro, on yeah. Coque in front of the supporters section, bro. Yeah, bro. There was supporters throwing up Nazi salutes yeah, bro. when yeah, Rodrigo and Vini were dancing, bro. The, the fact Madrid, that they bro. danced on them was like if if like a crib went to a blood neighborhood yes, yes, yes. and Start did and, and did a crib walk. Yeah. It's <laughs> like if it, 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 bro, this is like when nah, bro, this yeah. like bro, this is like when Valentin Elizalde went to the concert and sang the song that they told them not to sing. Yes, bro. They told them not to do this, bro. <laughs> And yeah. they did it anyways, bro. If this was the street of Madrid, I don't know if Vini makes it out, bro. I epa, mean, epa, baila Vini, baila, baila, baila Vini, baila, Vini yeah, epa. Yeah. This was incredible, was, bro. What a great goal. It was a, what a moment. It was a great goal. What a bro. moment, bro. What, what a, a moment. moment. What a moment. Incredible bro. moment. Bali, thoughts on, on, on this uh, on this goal and on this match? I think that was a, I think the goal was a beautiful, a beautiful goal, bro. But I think that goal starts with Valverde, bro. Yes, bro. I think, yeah. I, yeah, I think that, for, to me, he when I look at Madrid, and I look at a guy that I like watching play, it's Valverde, bro. Real quick question. Uh, rumor is that uh, Liverpool, two days before the transfer window closed, they were trying to swoop in for Valverde. A hundred million dollars was wow. the offer. Real Madrid said, uh-uh. Nope. So how much do they want? Like 140, 130? I mean, I think 250 is pretty oh pretty reasonable, God. reasonable God. for the God guy. God damn. Oh my. And 250. then I saw, how much did y'all get him for? I saw the y'all uh, around, around, six mil, right, around, there, around, around six mil, right, primo? Around there? Cheap player. I think it was like 15. Something like that. It I, was mm, cheap, cheap. Cheap, wow. super cheap, super cheap. And now, 100 million? 100 million offer turned out. Jeez, what, that's a big profit. And then uh, on the on the Atletico side, Griezmann getting a start despite his contract problems with... He with might not play the next six matches now. <laughs> 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 he might not play the next six games, bro. He uh, got like 70 minutes, though. Yeah. True, true. He, he played yeah. a long time. So uh, And then Courtois also having a good, a good game as well. Um I really enjoyed the second goal. Look, there, bro, yeah. this right here. Going back to the conversation we had last podcast, when Stevie Nichol said that if Vinicius scored and if he danced and if he got hit moments later, that they would that it's not on Rodrigo yeah. or or Vini. Yeah. You know what I'm saying that it's not on the person fouled. Rodrigo Look, so scores and then got fouled, bro. Harsh foul. Primo, can you go back to that tackle? Yeah, yeah the he tackle did, was he harsh, did. but. To Stevie Nichols' point on ESPN FC, he said that if Vini dances and if they dance, it's not only putting a target on him, but putting a target on the rest of the players. And uh, I think he was right on saying that. And this is the—I mean, this is a Madrid derby. This is the type of shit you're gonna see. I mean, you're gonna yeah, see tackles true. coming in like that. Is what it, these two teams tackle, hate bro. each other. Cleats, cleats to the side of the knee, yes, bro. bro. Yes, he cleats to the he side of the he knee, bro. Really, really messed him up. This, this should have been a red card. Should have been a red card. But uh, the person we haven't talked to yet got their Madrid take. I want to bring you in, Primo. What are your What were your thoughts on this Madrid derby? We were watching it at Hop Squad with the little kid that got the gloves from oh, yeah, uh, the little uh, homie. Brad Stuver. Him and Daniel, his older brother, pulled up. Neff was there as well. The whole uh, Peña was there. What are your thoughts on the derby, Primo? Uh, I think it was a really good derby. I think it was a really good game for Madrid. We really showed out and, you know, we really played with, with heart. I think a lot of it had to do with all uh, with everything that was going outside of the game, with you know the whole criticism from uh, that Vinny was receiving, and I think that gave him a lot of fuel. 
If Vini um, would have scored this, mate. Oh my, God. bro! I was Ooh. hoping, I was, I was praying that he would score, bro. The second goal was. He got I so close, goal, bro. Uh, but then you know Valverde follows through and gets the gets the goal, and Valverde Valverde's been really good for us. He's been uh, scoring. Uh, I think he has three goals in the last three games. Um, he's like an engine, bro. He runs. Not only and scoring in La Liga and Champions League in as Champions well. Champions League too, and. Um, it was just a really good game for us. Um, this gives us six dubs. We're six out of six in, uh, in all competitions so Still far. perfect. Still perfect. Um, and I just, I'm just really enjoying them right now. They're, they're playing really good football, and we'll hopefully they, they keep it going. We got another uh, challenge coming up in October against Barcelona. Yes. Ooh, that's going to be so a good that game. One, that Can't one's going to be another yes. good game. Yeah. Um, and we'll see how we do against them. Yeah. I want to get you in, in, in on this beat. Based off what you've seen from Barca and yeah. what you saw t today from Real Madrid, yeah. how excited are you oh that the Clasico is back? I'm fucking excited, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really excited. I cannot wait. Uh, we, we will get to Barca here in a little bit, but on the Madrid side, I mean, I think this team... Look, but I'm going to say, like, just the, uh, real quick on the second goal, I love when a goal is scored, just un cañonazo, just a psh, big shot to the net, just making the net rattle, that sound that it made when it hit the back of the net. I love that sound, yeah. bro. Vinny with that sexy. with that give and go. Yeah, the yeah. give and go. And uh, this is this is the Madrid that I, I expect. To, look, coming from an outside view, this is the Madrid that I expect to see. I, you, you obviously know this club more than I do. Um, but when I see Real Madrid, when I picture Real Madrid, when, when Real Madrid plays these top teams, this is what I expect to see. And... And uh, watching this game today, really analyzing, I was like, yeah, this is not, this is, that was not the Madrid that I saw last season win the Champions League. And look, respects to them, they're European champions. But uh, this is not how they played. And I was, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm asking you, I guess, is, is this the new, or not new, but essentially, is this going to be the Madrid you're going to see going forward? Or is this like a, 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 the one time where you, you saw them really step on the gas? No, I think this is just Madrid getting more into rhythm, bro. More into this rhythm? is them more because so, one of the main questions was: Is Real Madrid going to miss Casemiro? Yes. Chumani, yes. Chumani, Camavinga got inserted into the squad, and we're playing excellent football, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Ancelotti boy looks fantastic right now. Vini is enjoying his football. Rodrigo is also a hard worker. Modric looks like he's 22 again, bro. Yeah. But to you my know? question, but to my question though, because last year, yeah, you, look, respect, I won the Champions League, you're our champions. But the PSG games, the City games, the the the, the Liverpool games, the Chelsea games, and y'all did beat all those teams, top quality teams. I, I get it. My question is to the manner in which. Yeah, one, y'all were more timid, more like, oh, you know, one shot on target the whole game. is Underdogs for sure. Underdogs for sure. And like, yes. what, maybe two shots the whole game, but y'all still won that type of vibe. I did not get that vibe at this game, bro. I saw my daddy say, nah, bro, let's get it. This let's is throw, definitely, this definitely new style so, Real Madrid, 100%. I'm hoping to see this. I want to see, look, I want to see them play like this. Keep it going. Like, you know, hey, I much respect to, to Real Madrid. They're historic if not the most historic club in the world. So it was a great game, great game, and they showed out. Bro, all their players looking good, bro. And I know how to uh, – I said – you asked me if I uh, – some people came at me, I think, on Twitter or something. They're like um, – because you asked me, would you take Valverde to Chelsea yes. squad? <laughs> and uh, I said, nah. And uh, the, look, he looked great. But to, to, to switch from in Spain, Madrid, to go to the, to the Premier League in England where it's cold and it's shitty and, and it's just a different environment, that's the only reason why I said, no, I didn't, I didn't bash the player that he was shit. I was just – for him to switch to a different league, I just, I just don't see it. So, but he's, he's doing great. Bali, would you take Valverde at Arsenal? Oh, come on, bro. 100%. Bro. 100%. I'll take Rodrigo, too. Oh, yeah. yeah I'll take Rodrigo, too. <laughs> and Chomini, too. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I th Chomini, you know, like I think – Credit to the new signings that Real Madrid has made this season. We, we brought in, well, not this season necessarily, but overall we've brought in Mendy, Militao, Chomeni, Alaba, yeah. este, Camavinga. You know, I think those, those guys have just came in and re-energized the squad and given us a whole new look, a whole new style of football, attacking football again. You know, because like B yeah. said, last season we were very, not necessarily defensive, but we were nah, like... Nah, were timid, bro. We were, were, yes, I mean, y'all yeah. were kind of like w picking where you went instead of like, nah, let's see who knocks it each was, other out. It was very calculated. Very calculated. calculated. Very calculated defensive football. Yeah, yeah, not defensive yeah. either, but not just... Not defensive either, yeah. bro, because y'all were getting got. It was really were getting possession. Got. It yeah. was just... Maybe they, had to, they respected the opponent, too. Y'all played against a tough that's, that's, Chelsea team, yeah, against a tough Man City team. I guess so. I mean, y'all had no respect for Atletico. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at this. Look at this. Bye. Yeah. Poor guy, bro. All right. Uh, we're going to move on to the Barca game. Yes, Barca. Yeah. I mean, it's just a quick overview. I mean, uh, Barca... 
it it almost seems like uh, usual for them to just come in and slap teams in La Liga. I know they lost to Bayern, and we'll get to the Champions League here in a little bit, but we're just talking about La Liga right now. And and, and Barcelona uh, taking care of Elche. Uh, Lewandowski with another brace? Yes. I mean, this guy is scoring, bro. Lewa. This guy is just destroying La Liga. I mean, he's racking up La Liga goals like it's like like if he's still in, in the Bundesliga. I mean, yes, sir. this guy is killing it, bro. Um yeah, just another day in the office of Barca. This this Barca team seems to just be doing this week in, week out in La Liga. Um, I mean, how many goals do you think Leo is going to score in this season, bro? I know Man, I, I, think, I think he might get at least 20. I mean, you know, Elche got that, that early red card. Um, Gonzalo. <laughs> Put his shorts down. <laughs> Poor Straight guy. red. Poor guy, Straight bro. red, which kind of sealed, smarter than that. sealed the deal from yeah. then on out. It was in the 14th minute, but uh, Barca took care. <laughs> should have just let him go, bro. You should have just let him go, mate. I don't even think he would reach that. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah. That was a poor foul. Should have just let him go and then try to come back. But it's a minute 13, bro. That, I think that seals the game. As soon as that happened, oh, it's, it's game. It's game. 100%. Um, how many how many goals does Lewa have already? I Check mean. that real quick while I ask uh, Bali this question since he's the Barca fan. You already know who I love. From I want to ask Barcelona. you this, bro. I want to ask you this, Bali, okay? Lewa Brace. Yes. How good has he made Barca, bro? Lewa. Is it Lewa or is it Xavi? It's Xavi. It's Lewa. It's, Dem- it's Dembele and Henry. It's yeah. all of that, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. Rafinha. It's Kessi. It's all of them, bro. It's, it's not just it's not just Lewa. Of course, Lewa is a plus, but uh, it's everybody. It's everybody. I mean, together, Lewa bro. scoring all these goals. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah he's got course. eight, eight goals, bro. In uh, was it six games? Well, I think five. Right. This is week five. Week five. Wow. Yeah, wow. I believe so. I'm not incredible. sure. Incredible. Okay. Incredible. You, you gotta six, get six you, games. You gotta six you gotta make sure, Hernan, that uh, Lewa Lewa wanted to be here at Barca. Yeah, he did. He wanted to yeah, be here. So. This, this, the, 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 the goals, everything is going to come with it, bro. Yeah. He wants to bring this to Barcelona. Yeah. You know what else he wants to bring? A win at the, at El Clasico. Oh. That's what he wants to oh, bring. I know. Prove. I know. 100%, oh, I know. bro. I know. I know. Yeah, you, know. Better know. You, know you better know. You better know. You better know. He does. You better know. Uh, can, can he finish top score? La Liga. Pichichi. Lewa. I think he can. Who, who's who's, who's, I mean, look, who's top score right now? This is, okay. Le- I won it last season. R- oh, okay. Lewandowski right now has got eight. Uh, the next one on him is uh, Broja from Real Betis. Six. Borja. 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 Uh, Real Betis has got six. And then uh, Iago Aspas. Iago Aspas, bro. That fool uh, is incredible. Celta dude. Vigo, he's got five. And then Vini has four. So he's got a big gap. Yeah, so. he has. Damn. So it's, it, it's over already. Iago Aspas. Seems like it. <laughs> Iago Aspas, bro. Iago Aspas, he's, he's a player that doesn't get a lot of love or a lot of praise. He's not a big name player. But he's one. He's the only Spanish striker that has recorded double-digit numbers in like six plus seasons, bro. Oh wow! Six or seven plus seasons, bro. He's like an consistent. He's as hell. super consistent. And, and he's, he's Spaniard. He's, and he's always played in uh, Celta. So well, one of the one of the conversations why I bring him up is he's probably going to be one of the main uh, contenders for that starting spot in the World Cup. Hopefully, he's in contention for it. I'd say. Yeah. Uh, anything y'all want to add on the Barca game? Uh, 3 0 H A, you know, business as yeah. usual for business them now. As, business as usual, bro. I mean, Barca is, the, you see this week in, week out in La Liga, in La Liga only. I know we'll get to the Champions League. I keep saying that, but they do this every week in La Liga. They do Depay, this every week. Dude, what a turn by Depay. Yeah. He he did that preseason. Remember that? Oh, what a turn. Remember that? Yeah. But he did it much cleaner in a, a preseason against, uh, they murdered, I think it was against Inter Miami that they yeah, murdered 6 0. I think it was. He yeah, did that, he did that same turn. He did the exact same turn. That was the game where uh, Beckham Beckham's sunk, kid, yeah. <laughs> after he hasn't played a single minute in them. <laughs> love it, love it. Well, yeah, well, um, when, is, when, is it, when is it Clásico? When is it? October. October? Right there, October 16th. Oof. At, el, at El Bernabeu. At the Bernabeu. Damn. Ooh. At the Bernabeu. Lewa. At the Bernabeu. Lewa. Oh, I'm excited If any of the top Lewa. flight fans, any of the top flight fans want to join it, well, join us. Well, actually, that might be a playoff game. Pro- oh, it's close because to Because playoffs might be 15, also. 16, or 17. Yeah. Oh, then never mind then. We'll see. We'll see. You know, we'll nah, we'll bye see. bye. It you might know. be super early. It might be at like seven in the morning. We'll see. Hopefully, we'll see hopefully, hopefully, bro. Because if it's if it's you know we we gotta be at the Q two. Let's go into the next topic, bro. We go ahead. What's uh, the next yeah, game? Yeah, we're going to the to to, to England, mate. Um, England. We're gonna. There was some Premier League t- uh, games went on. Not all of them. Some got postponed. We were supposed to have Chelsea Liverpool, but it got postponed. Um, the. Um, uh, what else? Uh, Brighton Crystal Palace got postponed as well. United game got postponed as well. So, but we did have uh, a couple games. Tottenham versus Leicester City. Leicester City yet with another bro, defeat, they are, bro. I'm just waiting for 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 Aaron Rodgers to. Oh, Brendan Rodgers. They're, they're they're in the mud right now. They can't get a win or a draw or nothing to save their lives. And Tottenham uh, scoring six with 
hat trick by Hume Ming Son. I mean, this guy was come off, come off the bench, 13 minutes in, hat trick. Um, and two banger goals, by the way. I enjoyed the first two. The, the the third one was kind of a deflection off the goalkeeper, but still, I mean, he was on the verge of being benched. I mean, he ha- actually he was benched. But he was on the verge. A lot of talk was. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that oh was my Sanchez. god! Yes, he starts off scoring first. Of that course, was Sanchez. Because, um, it was a horrible foul, man. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, this is this the Premier League, the or, Premier or is this league? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, come on, dude. Go. Oh my god! Let's see this PK take. Oh, Yoris, quality keeper. Quality keeper, Yoris, bro. World Cup winner right World there, Cup too. World Cup winner, for sure. For sure. Wish we had him Retake, at, retake, at retake. Retake? Retake, retake yeah, No. Retake, retake, yeah, man, retake I, bro. What do you think, bro? Let's same. see. Leicester City steps up. Oh. Same, same, bro. Same, same spot, same bro. Place. Much much taken PK yeah. by uh, Tielemans, though. Tielemans. It's, I think, uh, bro, it's it's so crazy to see Leicester down bad yes, because bro. I witnessed Leicester win the Premier League. Yeah, bro. No like, I remember, I remember watching Mares. You know, I remember watching the Vardy. Harry you know, Maguire. Harry Maguire. Cante, Harry Maguire, Cante. Cante. Yeah. You know, drink all water. these. Drink water. Drink water. Drink water, yes. Drink, yes, drink water. Uh, the drink guy water. that plays in, in the Panthers FC. Uh, este Fuchs. 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 Christian Fuchs. Fuchs. It, I mean, <laughs> you know, it's, it's crazy to see that they're down bad. And I think that they need to pull the trigger on Brendan Rodgers. They need to fire him. You think so? They need to fire him. Bro, I mean, he's, he, he's saying that he wasn't backed. He wasn't, bro. And that's, that's it. I think a lot of these clubs got hit. With COVID, yeah, and that kind of messed them up. But bro, well, like I mean, their owner, his owner, the owner died. The too. owner did die also. Yeah, maybe that it, maybe helicopter crash. Everything's just coming together, bro. And like, look, damn, it's it's sad. They're bro. gonna sack him, bro. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I mean, it's imminent. Sitting, it's imminent. Sitting, it's imminent. Sitting, sitting bottom of the table. No wins. No wins. Bro. In the EPO, in when the e- when this happens, they have one point. You're bro. gone. One point. They need. They need. <laughs> Son, oh my. Son, bro, coming off the bench and check this one out, bro. Jeez, yeah. son. Was, yeah. I had heard that he went, oh, Ooh. my word. Take a bow, mate. Yeah. Take the bow. And then the sh- celebration? The celebration, no bro. No respect for Leicester and City. Nah, but it's, it's, this, is, this is the hat trick right no here. No respect for Leicester City, man. The hat trick right here. No, nah, but it's a poor Leicester side, too. It's a, it's a very poor Leicester side. So, you know, it's a very it's poor a Leicester side. But look, but you, you, Son needed this so badly because he was on the verge. I mean, Rosalderson taking okay, the spot. Okay, question, question. Yeah. Was, the, was the criticism on, on Son harsh? Yeah, I think it was a little harsh, but just because he was the Golden Boot winner, right? He, he no, won. he got snubbed, didn't he? No, he was he last got, year. Last year he won the Golden Boot. Yeah. He, he shared it with uh, with Salah. With Salah, he got snubbed on the starting eleven. He got snubbed on the on the EPL yeah, starting on the EPL 11. starting eleven. But look, I've always been a fan of Son, bro. I mean, I think he Son is a type of player that just everybody loves, bro. He, he's no one who hates Son, bro. I mean. It's like hating Kante. It's like hating Golo Kante. No yeah. one, hate, like you know, what I mean. I think Primo hates Son. <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't know. I don't know. If you hate Son, something's wrong with you, bro. But look, man, I'm I'm glad I'm glad uh, I'm glad that he got his hat trick. Uh, I'm a big fan of Son. Um, and uh, Tottenham get the three points, and then they went top. Uh, well, actually, no, but they're they're tied with points with City, so they're mm-hmm. uh, keeping up to pace, yeah. keeping up to pace at the top. Um, Conte, Conte big ball, win, big win uh, for Tottenham, and then we move on. I guess to the next game, which is. Uh, Man City getting the job done again, three zero. Haaland, Haaland. I mean, I'm getting tired of saying this dude. Haaland, bro. Even yeah. though I just bought his and jersey. Then dra- and then Grealish, Grealish scoring in the first minute of the game. But then he got a boot to the chest. You saw that, bro? Oh, saw bro. That, bro. bro, that was dirty. Man. That took me back. That, <laughs> that took me back dirty, to bro. 2010, <laughs> when uh, the player from the Netherlands boot to the chest of Xabi Alonso in the World Cup final. You remember oh, yeah, that? I remember that. I remember it, that. it literally looked the same, bro. There was a lot of memes where they had both of them side by side. Yeah, man. I mean, Man City are just, they are on the roll, bro. You know, they, they, they are coming. And then Haaland, how, how many goals is that for Haaland already? How many goals is that, Primo? Can you search, can you, can you bring should, that up? Bro, it should be at least. He's got 11. 11, 11 yeah. goals, 11, bro. 11 next, goals? Next, next guy under him is six with Mitrovic. The oh. record in the. <laughs> nah, it's done. <laughs> The record in the uh, EPL for goals is 34 32, season, 32 right? I think. 33 uh, or 34? 30, 30, oh, 30, 30, I think 34. Salah tied it. Salah tied it. I think it's tied it. Couldn't break it. I remember Salah tied it. Damn. I think it's 34. And it, isn't or it or held maybe by, he broke it. Shit. Isn't it held by it Alan Shearer? No, it's held by Alan Shearer no, Alan Shearer's got the most goals in total. Oh, okay. I think it's 34, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's 34, mate. Let's see if you can bring that up. But yes, Man City, Bali, I want to bring you in on this. They're right behind Arsenal. Are you worried, mate? Of course. 
of course I'm going to bet Man City. You know, you see how these these guys are playing. You see the guy that they got at the, in the front, Halan. You know, the guy he doesn't miss, bro. This guy's he unreal, bro. He's, He's unreal, mate. You know, it's it's yeah, he is unreal, bro. And I think uh, of course I'm scared of him. You know, uh, but we, uh, we don't play on no time soon, so I'm not worried right now. What we have to do is just keep winning. But bro, Man City has a great team, bro. I think you better watch out for them in the Champions League. I think so. Aren't they? So Alan Shearer has the most goals yeah. in the Premier League with 260 goals. Okay. As okay. expected, yeah. but in the for a single oh, season, so a single season, thirty four, thirty four, yeah, okay, yeah. thirty four. So you think he can break thirty four? H- held bro? by who? Held by uh, Andy Cole and Alan Shear. Tied. Okay, so and, sorry. Okay, Shear still up there. I, th- I thought I, ha- I heard that as well. Yeah, uh, thirty four. You think he, oh. you think he can break that? But that's well, he's that's, that's a lot of goals. He's at me, eleven. Let me. Cr- that that's in the forty two game season. So most goals in a season by thirty eight games, which is like I guess the 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 game the format right now is oh. thirty two by Mohamed Salah. Okay. Ah. So, but look. Clear all that shit out. 34 goals, bro. Break okay. 34. 34. Salah couldn't do it. He was too shy. I say Holland breaks it. He's got 11 Damn, already, bro. bro. I say I say Holland gets to 40. I, I don't think so. I'm not, I wouldn't be shook, bro, the way he's doing right now. I mean, That's a lot of goals, man. Yeah, bro, yeah, he probably You see will. the meme of uh, Tom and Jerry uh, where they put yeah, Holland's hair that. on Tom? He looks like him. Or is, is, is Tom the... Tom's the cat. Tom's the cat. Okay, Jerry's yeah, the yeah. mouse, I believe. So when he's mad that he only scored one... Yeah, I see yeah, that. He's yeah. all like, yeah. I see <laughs> that. Uh, and also the goals that he they, he scored versus Dortmund, mate. The goals he scored against his, yes, his old club, yes, the, yeah, you know, the Champions did. League. Bro, he has more goals than he has games played. Yeah, Ronaldo at Dortmund, bro. Ronaldo, 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 Ronaldo shit. Bro. Bro. If oh, not shit. more, if not the same. I mean, his stats are incredible, bro. This guy is a problem. Real Madrid bound. Real Madrid bound 100. percent Nah. Real Madrid bound 100. percent 100. percent Madrid is gonna offer him the keys to the club. Ooh. <laughs> they could offer him the kind of contract they wanted to give Messi. Yeah. They were going to give him 2% of the whole oh, Man fuck. City wow. organization. But that would bring him to the MLS, either with New York City FC. That's what they were trying to give Messi. Yeah. But who knows? Who knows? But we're moving on, bro. We're going through quickly. Uh, Arsenal. Yes, we're going sir. to Arsenal, getting the job done at Brentford. <coughs> yes. Uh, 3-0. Yes. Saliba. Sali- hey, Saliba. <laughs> hey, Saliba. Hey, Saliba. Hey, mundo. Hey, Saliba. Saliba uh, scoring in the 17th minute. Uh, Gabriel Jesus in the 28th. Hey, Jesus. And uh, Vieira in the 49th. Vieira. Getting the job done. Last year, y'all opened up the season to Brentford. Yeah, we did, and, and we got uh, whooped. Y'all got whooped, and uh, things have turned. Bro, we, we dom- bro I, watched this, I woke up early to watch this game. We dominated them. It was, it was, it was, me- it was men against boys. It really was. Uh, I want to send a shout out to the uh, the Brentford coach uh, Thomas Frank. Yeah, he was he was giving praise to uh, uh, Saliba. He was yeah. saying that he's a great center back, and that sooner or later he's going to be starting for his uh, uh, country, France. Right? Oh yeah, he, 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 yeah, yeah. He, he already got called up, you know. So yeah, uh, hopefully, hopefully he will start. You know, he he's such a good defender, bro. You know, and the fact that we we got him when he was young and we loaned him out for two years, and the whole fan base was was questioning the move. But those two years were experience for him, bro. And he he went and he played in league. Uh, and he went off, bro. I want to ask you something, Bali. What's what's different from this season's Arsenal than the other season? Because it seems mentality. like it seems like this season, bro. Y'all are able to handle these big pressure situations because you guys are first. I mean, I don't you know. know they lost to United. You bro. know, City is there, bro. We could have won. But you're Arsenal still finding ways to get points. Still first place. Yeah. I think definitely the mentality, bro, and the players that we got in. You know, you have somebody like Gabriel de Jesus. You know, he's a champion, bro. You know, he's bringing that to the locker room. You got somebody like Sinchenko, champion, you know, brings that to the locker room. You have a lot of personalities in the team. Xhaka. You know, Xhaka yeah, is getting well. back in, in favor of the fans. Yeah, after, after people were singing his name at the yeah, stadium, bro. Yeah. Really? You know, baila, Jesus, baila, Jesus. He started dancing like Vini, you know? I love that. You know, you know, his, you know his, uh, his, his, his phone call celebration, his iconic to him. You know what's the story behind why. that? I know why. Oh, okay, okay. I know why. Because <laughs> his, 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 his ex. Shoddy. His ex. His shoddy. Yeah, and Shadi yeah. called him up after he signed for City. Yeah, she like dumped him yeah, or something, yeah, and like, then she and called then him after he signed for for City. City. Yeah, why does he still do it? Get over her, bro. It's because it, beca- <laughs> it became iconic. Get over yeah. her, mate. Bro, it's get a good, over bro, her. It's a good celebration, bro. Yeah, I'm, get sure, over I'm, her. Sure, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure he's over. Her. His new celebration is you know la samba, baila, baila, baila. That's baila, a new samba. celebration, yeah. bro. I want to ask you this. I want to ask you this. How many goals will Gabriel Jesus get to this season? More than fifteen. How many he got right now? Four. Yes, four. Mm, so I think I think 15, I, I don't mate. I think I don't think he'll catch up to Holland. I'll tell you that right now. That but I think it. he Ooh. can get a solid like more than fifteen. May hopefully twenty. Ooh, <laughs> twenty. Hopefully, yes. hopefully, hopefully. Be. I don't know if, about twenty. Hey, bro. If y'all want to uh, uh, be up there, he's gonna have to, bro. Yep. He's gonna have to because look, with this dub, hate to say it, 
But Arsenal go top, bro. Yeah. Top, we are uh, top of the league. Yeah, we are top of the league. They've, they've been we, top, uh, top of the league. They yeah, weren't we they top starting, you know, Tottenham one, City one. So this game puts them top. One point clear of Tottenham and City. Yeah. We're the 18. But we have a very important game next. And that is against Tottenham. Yep. So London that, Derby. After a to, little international break. Yeah, yeah. We need to come out and, 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 and statement, you know. I so want to win. That game is so huge because winner goes top yeah Yeah. winner goes top bro and it's a london derby do you remember last year when you won a champions league so bad and it became it came down to this derby win and win champions league and y'all got smacked and uh i think arsenal has something different to them this season and it's gonna be a great game because tottenham is good too or or they could tie and city will go top city goes top they could bro i can honestly see them tying and city goes top and that's a wrap no 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 nobody's gonna stop city from there yeah who's gonna stop city who i mean maybe arsenal can stop i don't know maybe i don't know i mean uh newcastle tied against them yeah but that was what the first second game of the season maybe you know what I'm saying? Once they Holland, get going, Holland they get it, going, bro. They, yeah, they, they look too. Done. Yeah, you're right. Once they we'll get see. going, they get going. But uh, some honorable mentions: uh, Newcastle tying with Bournemouth, um, Isak, Everton getting a dub, Frank Lampard beating West Ham. That's a, that's a big. Bro, I'm surprised he still has a job, bro. Hey, what do you mean he I just swear. beat West Ham? Bro. I know what I'm saying, but I'm surprised he has a. <laughs> Matter of fact, good, bro. You know you why? Want, you, you know, know why? Something? You know why he has a job, right? Because because he's because he's super Frank. Yeah, and everybody loves him. Because he's super Frank, and his dad probably has pool. Yeah, you know true. what I'm saying? He's 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 super frank. You want to know what's crazy right now? The names that are in in like like in in, in the warning zone right now, it's Brendan Rodgers from Leicester. One. And Moyes from West Ham. West Ham oh. is in the bottom, bro. Yeah, they're in 18th spot right now. And they actually went and spent this yeah, yeah. They got Paqueta. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The yeah. guy that you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Me? No, 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 no. That was Nev. That was okay, Nev. Okay. That was that was not me. But uh man. I'm I'm kind of surprised West Ham. You know they have good good players. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, another game, uh, five goal thriller. Nottingham Forest, Fulham, Fulham, uh, with a dub, three two. Um, Nottingham going down to shout, 19th hey, place. So, Nottingham shout Fort- out to Mark Turner. Hey, but Mark Turner. Hey, my G, I know I'm he's t- hurting. My, bro. Uh, my, my G, he's Mark hurting Turner. Right I'm I'm telling you right now, Mark Turner. I'm a little nervous right now yeah, for you, bro. Yeah, I'm a little nervous right because you they were you were spending crazy money. Yeah. So I'm a little Jay nervous, Lynx, bro. Jay Links. You know, I'm a little nervous. I don't yep. know, man. They bought like 96 players. They bought 22. <laughs> they bought 22. Well, they, oh, there's 22 God. new signings. I think they that's, what, that's what it was. They bought two starting 11s. I mean. I don't know, bro. It's not looking good not for looking Hopefully, for they, can, hopefully they can bounce back. Yeah, it's only seven games in, so we'll see. You think um, they need to fire uh, Stevie Cooper? No, 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 no. no. Fire, was, fire was, Stevie Cooper, bro. No, no, no. Fire Steve Cooper now. No, I think right now is the time to stick with him. Right now, to stick with him and, and stay with him, and let's see. He, hopefully, he bounces back, bro. Bro, you, when does. you buy 22 players, you start sacking yeah, managers. Bro, you it's, have it to goes downhill from there. Man. Oh, but you can spend 280 million dollars and sack a manager, and no one bats an yeah, eye. Yeah, yeah, man. I, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I agree, mate. That's and it's wrong. We're talking that about two wrong. different caliber of clubs. <laughs> that is wrong too, bro. We're talking about two different caliber of clubs, bro. We're talking yeah. about a club that potentially can go to the championship. <laughs> You're, mean, right, you're, right. you're right, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. You're right, you're right. That kind of wraps up the EPL talk. I mean, Liverpool City. I mean, Liverpool Chelsea was supposed to happen this weekend, and uh, it got postponed. And I think both clubs are happy for that. You know, Grand yeah. Potter. Oh, yeah. Grand Potter needing a little bit more time for the, for the club, and Liverpool in the mud. So yeah. uh, we'll see next week. Like you, uh, next next uh, game week will be Arsenal Tottenham, and yeah. uh, the the Manchester Derby as well. So too big. That's a big week. That's a badass That's a week. week for for EPL. But. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, moving on, we could uh, discuss a little bit on the EPL talk. Todd Bowley coming out with Ooh. a press conference. Some shit that caught wind, bro. I mean, yeah, <laughs> smart man. guy, smart guy. What is, guy, guy, what is this guy thinking? Who, did it, who does this guy think he is? He, 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 he Primo's pulling it up right now, his quotes. Um, but he said that uh, he's not sure why the EPL doesn't. And this is what I learned a lesson from that's what, everybody, that's what everybody's hung up on. He learn said, a lesson. why can't they learn a lesson yeah. from Ooh. American sports and have an all-star game, an EPO all-star South versus North? Um, thoughts on that, boys? Well, I want to say that I personally would enjoy a all-star game in England, you know, best of North versus the South teams. I thought that would be great, you know, donate the money to wherever you need it uh, on the pyramid. That's what he said, right? Yes, yes. I don't think it's a bad idea. I don't understand why everybody's flipping tables, throwing chairs, breaking windows about it. The guy just has some ideas, I mean, bro. I understand, bro, because, I mean, look, imagine this. What if an English 
a billionaire comes and buys uh, a team in the MLS and then starts saying, hey, why don't we do it like the Premier League? As an American audience, you would be like, hey, man, like, chill out. Like, this is our sport right here, bro. You know what I mean? So I, I understand. And plus, it wouldn't help when the quote before that also, to add on top of that, he said that Chelsea has one of the best academies in the world, Kevin De Bruyne, Mohamed Salah, when they obviously did not come from the Chelsea Academy. Yes. So even that makes them look bad. And, and also there was rumors that he presented the formation 4-4-3. Some rumors with Tuchel <laughs> about 4-4-3. <laughs> so it's just not it's, it's, it's not in, in, in his favor to yeah. be coming out Plus, and speaking yeah, he, to the media. It's not in his favor. He's the new guy. He's the American guy. Yeah. It just kind of just, just making headlines. And from a Chelsea fan, this is what I got to say. I this yeah 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 this is this is your guy bro. Top bully. I appreciate the money that was spent uh, in bringing these players in. Uh, Sacking Tuchel was your decision, I, and I'm also in favor of that. I, I I'm not in favor of like the the, the relationship was toxic when you when it, he was sacked. I understood the situation, and I'm willing to give Potter a chance. And I'm excited for him, but for you to come out and start doing all this stuff, I ah, man just kind of chill out for a second. You know what I mean? Like you're in a new country, you own a club in a new country, like. You're not the guy to be presenting these. The idea is great, bro. The idea is great, but a lot of players are are club coming out and saying these. You know how many games you're gonna play, mate? You know how many games are coming up before the World Cup? We're playing two games a week minimum, and now we 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 postpone some games to the Queen's death. We're gonna have to fit those games in, and then you want to throw an EPO All Star game on top of that? I think these players would rather rest, bro. Would rather rest. Yeah, but true. the idea is good. It's gonna rent ren- generate a lot of money. The EPL needs money to fund the lower leagues, League 2, League 3, League 4. Like you said, the pyramid. It's a good idea. But just the fact that you're the new guy on the block, you're the American guy, is just people aren't going to be in your favor right okay, now. Okay, maybe not that. But how about the other idea that he had about the tournament for the top, the, the bottom four table teams? Kind of like a tournament that's for the shit idea. clubs. That's also not that's, a that's, idea, I mean, that bro. might be I mean, a quote. There's, they, a, there's a tournament. Well, not a tournament. There's a they playoffs. don't play that many games. There's a playoff to go up. The championship has a playoffs. The top four, you know, the one and two go automatically. And I then think three, they're four, good five, ideas, bro. I think that's a good idea. I don't bro. know. I mean, it's, I think it's Bali. the person that's saying it. That's yeah. that's, that's, that's. I think that's it, it is a good idea. I think the whenever he said, oh, I make $200 million on a Monday and on a Tuesday, I think that really kind of rubbed off kind of the wrong way on some people plus the way know? he said it learn yeah. a lesson bro? like it kind of makes him like he just wants to make money that's all he's here for which he, well i mean he's he, the owner you know, plus but. he's not saying the money's for chelsea he's saying epl can make more money yeah. not to him fund, to, to fund, fund league the two league leagues. three league four yes exactly which and they're in dire exactly. need of finances bro. exactly mate. one epl game all-star game could could help tremendously the league one league two league three i agree i agree mate. it's just that it's him saying it. I mean, they. There's been times, primo. He he might have have I've heard about these games too. There's been games where they do like the legends. Oh yeah, legends, charity matches, right? Mm-hmm. Charity matches, bro. I mean, if they, do, if, if they do those they games, ca- I mean, it catches my attention because I just see all these names. You see stuff. all the, like old players. Yeah, you yeah. see Figo cool, really on cool. the same team. You Figo, know. Roberto Carlos, Guti gets on the pitch again. Yeah, Ronaldinho gets on the pitch. Uh, I don't know, man. It is what man. it is. Some people were saying that what if somebody gets injured in one of these games? Yeah. I mean, don't go hard. Yeah. NBA, all-star games, they're there it's to have fun. Dunk fest. It's just a dunk fest and three-pointers from yeah. like half court. Yeah. yeah, They don't play any defense. I don't know. Look, I, the idea, we, I think we all agree the idea is pretty good. Yeah, it's just right. him saying it, bro. Yeah. Him the messenger. It. The messenger. It's, it's an okay idea, I guess. Like the, you know, what was that? I mean, it's an okay. It'll generate yeah. bread, brother. I mean, it's, I don't want to cheer something, for something that I heard uh, s- somebody say is just imagine – if somebody from the EPL went to the yeah, NFL yeah, yeah. and said, hey, y'all should change it, bro. Yeah. Can you imagine oh. how mad the oh, American can, owners would be if that? somebody from Europe... Shut, shut up! Shut if, up! That's if what they would say. somebody from Europe tried to just tune a bit of things from the NFL, nah, they wouldn't have it. And yeah. the way he would say it, too, like, y'all should learn a lesson from us. Yeah. yeah. You're new it. to here. You're new here. That's what got everybody upset. Go ahead, B. So I understand. I understand. Um, uh, moving on, I guess we'll go into Europe and uh, recap a little bit of the Champions League action that happened. The big game, the big game, it would be Bayern, uh, Barcelona, and Bayern coming in with a two two zero dub. What did y'all, what did y'all guys think of that? Bayern Barcelona, I big mean, first big test for Barcelona. One hundred percent, I expected Bayern Munich to win. I never in my mind thought that Barcelona was gonna have a chance. I mean, they maybe well, a goal, bro. maybe yeah. a goal or whatever. But Bayern Munich is a proper team, bro. But but Barcelona, I I think Barcelona really really impressed me. 
a lot, bro. A lot. I mean, sh- they could have said it. Shavi said it him, him, him himself. He said that they deserve to win. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird to say that when you lost 2-0, but like to to his point, I mean, Barca played really, really they had some chance. Lewa had a chance to, to score. Pedri had a chance. I mean, they played well, bro. They played well, but it just wasn't their night. It wasn't their night. Couldn't finish it, bro. I mean, I was very, very surprised at Barcelona. This was their biggest test, and I think they came away not feeling too bad. I think they're like, nah, we should have won that game. I'm for sure. That, I mean, for sure, this is something that they're gonna build on. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Barca's gonna build on this. They're gonna come back. Um, you know, they're, they they got to play Bayern one more time. They might win that one. I don't know, they but might. But I mean, the, their uh, their what is it? They aggregate. For their last, I can't, I can't remember what. Uh, it was like fourteen to two, bro. No, sixteen or, or, to or two. Or sixteen bro. to two. 16 so, to something two. outrageous. Yeah, I mean, ridiculous uh, aggregate scoreline between them two. That's the a good chance right there. That chance, I mean, they sh- they should have been up three. Yeah. And Bayern right now, are, Bayern right now are struggling, are in, struggling the, in the league. Too. Yeah. So yeah, I think yeah. Barca will beat them next the next game. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about but that. Yeah. Be, anything uh, you had on that game, bro? That's it. That's it. I mean, I just want to mention also the next uh, the next game is uh, PSG versus. Um, how do you say it? Maccabi? I don't even know how to say that. Maccabi Haifa. Primo's bringing it up real quick. It was what three one result, right? Three one result. But the thing, the interesting thing about this game that I wanted to bring up is that down uh, Primo. It's on the left is side. Is that uh, uh, a little bit more down? Maca- Maccabi scoring first. Yes. And there was a viral videos going around the TL of their fans. Yeah. Their fans just going crazy because they scored on PSG. I mean, seeing that to me, I'm like, oh man, I love seeing that shit. I love seeing the fans. Uh, look at that. I mean, where are they from? Are they from Israel? I think people? they're from, from Israel. Yeah, they are. Yeah. From Israel? Yeah. yeah the seems from Israel. Wow. Wow. So the fact that they scored on PSG, scored on PSG to them, for it sure. Was, it was like, and they scored first, too, out of everything. I mean, for sure, these players are. Could you imagine, bro? They're not sleeping. Could you imagine? Oh, that, that night. I mean, God damn. Yeah. I think, How can I we think compare it to there that? There it is right even, there. Even, uh, even a fan uh, ran in uh, on the field and hugged Messi, I think. Yes, I, mean, I saw that. A yeah. lot of people would have done it, bro. Yeah, true, true. I mean, what? How often do you are they gonna see Messi in their country true, playing? Their, true. You know what I mean? It's it's a one in a lifetime type of deal, and uh, and they scored, and they scored yeah. first. Yeah. They did. I mean, look at them; they're going crazy. And uh, of course, PSG get the job done. Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe on the score sheet, getting it done, winning three one. So you uh, pay him. I wanted to bring that up, and then uh, another high key game that I wanted to mention is Man City Dortmund. Man City going down also first. Um, Jude, That's the uh, game where Royce got injured. No, no, or Royce that was got in the league this this week. Ah, I bought a seat. Jude Bellingham getting on the score sheet in minute fifty six. The Englishman scoring on City, going up one zero. Bro, that kid is gonna be chased for. Yes. He's he's gonna yeah, be he really is. pursued yeah. a lot also next season, like bro. Some, for sure, Sancho, man. Sancho that kid is too. good, bro. But Sancho, I mean, look at him. <laughs> nah, he's, he's not good. He's, he's discovering himself a little bit, but maybe it's where he went. Yeah, but I mean, it took Son thirteen minutes to to match his his scoring record. Yeah. But let's talk about the City Dortmund game real quick. I guess mainly the headline in this match is the fact that Holland won the game. Holland won the game, and he they City just coming back. I mean, they scored in the 80th minute with a golazo by John Stones. This this goal reminds me of the goal company scored on Leicester to win the Premier League. Dang, I mean, I mean, yeah, that's this, a beautiful goal. Yeah. Look at that beautiful goal yeah. by Dortmund right there, just beating the the keeper Bellingham. Just putting a little slightest of touches. That's what makes him so good, bro. The fact that he can anticipate these kind of situations and beat great keepers like Ederson. But I, I can't, bro. I go back to this. Ederson is not a good keeper, bro. <laughs> he sucks. He's a midfielder. Bro. Ederson sucks. He's a bro. midfielder with gloves. I Ederson mean. sucks. I'd rather have Ochoa. <laughs> I'd nah, rather have nah, a nah, nah, Ederson nah. is trash, bro. Nah, I don't nah, care what nah, anybody nah, says. That nah. fool is trash. Nah, nah, chill but, out. But uh, putting the, you know, and then the, if you want to go show the John Stones goal, I mean, golazo by John Stone in the 80th minute to tie the game up. And then as soon as this went in, you would you saw City just, I mean, pushing forward. And then of course Haaland getting the uh, the game winning goal, a Slatan esque type goal. Yeah, acrobatic, bro. Something acrobatic, like I definitely could have gone with his head. Decided to go with his boots. I mean, yeah, he, he was he, he, he was flying. He took off, bro. Yeah. He, he was flying, off, bro. bro. Gio uh, Gio Reyna, the U.S. men's national team player, also had a pretty good game. Yes, versus really uh, game. versus City. That is right there. That acrobatic finish. Man, what a pass, Joao Cancelo. What a Joao pass. Cancelo. The tres dedos. He's, he's, he's in the that. air, bro. He's look at that, bro. Oh, he's hanging on, in the bro. air, bro. He's hanging in the air for like five seconds, bro. Come on, bro. Come One, on, two, bro. You know, bro. Come on, bro. I can't. Bro, that's not normal, bro. That's not, bro. That's not Come normal. on, bro. How do you defend that, bro? He's How do you defend liter- that, bro? He's literally yeah. in between pass, center like, backs. Hey. That was a beautiful That's pass. That's a sexy ass pass, bro. How do you defend Look that? Look at that pass, bro. <sighs> Cancelo, bro. I'm telling you, he's great, man. Can you also show John Stone's goal, Primo? Boom. Go back? Primo, how 
Um, how soon do you think Holland will be at Real Madrid? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know, bro. I mean, he's doing good at Man City. His dad played for Man City. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he stays there. But maybe, how long is this contract at Man City? A couple years, two, sure two or three. Long, two years, oh, man. deflection though. Deflection off nah, that. Nah, no, no, it didn't deflect. It didn't deflect. We're the keeper could have done better. The keeper could have done better. Look we're at currently goal. looking Boom. at John Stone. Yeah, oh, it's, a, it's, it's a laser. That's a beautiful goal. Looking, looking at, at John Stone's goal. goal. Just absolute <sighs> laser. The keeper yeah. couldn't do anything, bro. If that would have hit his face, he would have been knocked out. <laughs> Straight up. I think, the, it, I think the only way Holland will go to Madrid is y'all need to pay that money. I mean, we got it. Okay. So, I we mean, at least, right at least, at least, right now, bro. You're, at least you're, 180 you're, you're million. Like oh, right we now, got bro. that, bro. You're oh, we got right that, bro. You're in that right we now. We got that. Can you imagine, though, if City receives a check of 150 million, what they're going to do with it, bro? Can you imagine what City is gonna do with 150 million dollars? That's puck. That's nothing to them. Yeah, that's nothing. To they're them. gonna definitely reinvest, and they're gonna get the next three best players, bro. Yeah. That's what yeah. they've been doing. Wait, City is for them. It's not Rodrigo. Maybe City, City is taking over, bro. We but could yeah. trade them. swap Rodrigo. Swap, swap, swap. Vini, buy La Vini and an empty head. Ooh, buy La Vini, buy La Vini. Yeah. Go and ahead. The me. last little game we want to mention real quick is uh, Chelsea. Uh, Grand Potter getting his first game in charge of Chelsea in the Champions League. I mean, yeah. this guy got a fade. He uh <laughs> he got a suit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to him it was a big. I mean, it's a big deal for a Grand Potter. Deal, yeah. I mean, this, yeah. this, this, guy this, is, the, yeah. this is his first Champions League. Well, welcome Champions to the big leagues. Yeah, yeah, this is his first ever Champions League game. They didn't win though. They didn't win. Uh, yeah. Going Sterling scoring a Olasso going up one 0 but then Salzburg uh, tying. I mean, back four just caught sleeping, and the game ends in a draw. I mean, uh, a lot of work needs to be done at Chelsea, and uh, I still trust Potter. Yeah. Two hundred and seventy-eight million dollars spent. Maybe a little bit more. Be. But drawing against Salzburg, mate. Hey, look, Come it's on, the early stages of Grand Potter's reign. I mean, this is the first game, and then. <laughs> oh, what, what do you think about Uba? Uh, I think he's he's he's, he's doing he's, nothing. He's, I mean, bro, it's he's uh, bro, doing it's nothing. early, bro. It's early, bro. We just we, Grand Potter's his first game in charge. We played a back four for the first time in I can't remember. It's been years, bro. We've been a back three, Tuco, Sari. I mean, it's just you know Conte when he first came in. So seeing them playing a back four was a little bit weird and. I'm excited, bro. Change gets me excited. I want. I want to see. I want to see what Grand Potter instills in 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 this football club. And Kepa getting the start ahead of Mendy too. That's another little. Yeah. Why? What's up with that? What's up with, What's that, up with bro? that? Why? Man, this is first game in charge, bro. If 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 Kepa starts the next game, which is gonna be in a while. I mean, three weeks. Did you see that quote from Kepa? No. no. He was saying he said something like he that he had offers this summer to yeah. leave. He had yeah, the opportunity yeah, yeah, to leave. Yeah, yeah. But that after, I think, you know, the new owner came in and everything, that they had told him, like, well, we trust in you. And uh, we want, you know, pretty much Whoa. saying that he was going to get some PT. Whoa. So, no, so buy Mendy. Buy Mendy. Buy Mendy. Buy Mendy. Yeah. I think that wow. just, like, Mendy. The one thing you got to realize is this guy is the most Great expensive. Great club. Great club, The most psych. expensive goalkeeper in the world. I mean, we have the most expensive goalkeeper in the world as our backup. Something's not right there. So I see your point, B. Look, man, I, mean, I fancy both. I fancy both. Great goal uh, by Sterling. Kepa had a horrendous run of form. That's why he got benched. That's why Frank Lampard demanded a new goalkeeper, and we got Mendy. And Mendy did good. He won the Champions League with him. One of the best goalkeepers in the world at one yeah. point. Uh, but Kepa's still young, and he still has shit to prove. So, yeah, I mean, look, we're not going to play another game for, like, three weeks. I mean, Grant Potter has all the time he needs to, to, to instill what he wants to instill in this club. So, it's kind of weird because we're in a mess right now. It's like it's nothing certain. It's like new. It's like I can't. There's nothing to go. There's no data for me to like analyze the next coming weeks. There's nothing to build off. So we're still in like this weird mess right now. So I feel you. But yeah. Anything else you want to add? Uh, I think I mean, that kind of completes the rundown. I do want to mention one thing. El Clasico was uh, was this this yesterday. Uh, Chivas America. Yes, uh, sir. America coming through with a one. Oof. As expected, America still expected. still undefeated, still undefeated. Top brother. of the league, Sheesh. top of the league, breaking undefeated. records, breaking records. Wow, I've heard real? it, I've heard it before, yeah. mate. Yep. I'm tired of this shit. Two one, Damn. get your shit together, Chivas. For the Henry like, Martin scoring year. a penalty in the fourth well, minute. Why, why, why were people crying about a penalty of our decision? I saw people on Twitter were crying. Yeah, about there was a uh, on the line save by uh, Ochoa. 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 And then, uh, you know, you know how it is. And, and, and America buys the refs, bro. That's okay. okay. Uh, look, America buys the refs, bro. The talk is, bro. It doesn't matter if it's America. Whoever, if America is at the top, 
they're buying refs. If Chivas is at the top, they're buying refs. If you know, all no, this, no, America's talk, the bro. only ones that buy the refs, bro. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, yeah, sure, sure. everybody in Mexican soccer knows that America buys refs. Nah, ask, yeah. ask your dad, ask your uncles, ask your older cousins, anybody older than you, <laughs> top flight fans that know about the eighties, the nineties, the seventies. America buys the refs, bro. And everybody knows that Chivas is a racist club. What? Oh. Okay, hey. <laughs> they, technically. Everybody knows. Ask your uncle. Ask your grandpa. Whoa, ask your cousins. Whoa, whoa, everybody knows that if you're not Mexican, you're not playing in this club. That's a good point. So a good there, point. things can go both ways, bro. And uh, it's funny because... Those you know, numbers are sick, by the way. Yes. Yeah, I mean, look, look, bro. America always comes through with the fire kits, bro. I mean, yeah, they do. They they always come through with the fire kits, and uh, seeing them dominate the the Mexican league is just I'm 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 in dreamland right well, now. Well, I'm I'm look at that. I'm iconic, a little concerned. Brother. I'm a little I'm a little confused. Why do they have the Italy colors and their numbers? Where's the uh, Where's the eagle? I mean, come on, bro. Where's the mean? eagle, mate? That's Italy's flag, mate. Come on, bro. <laughs> come on. that's Italy's flag, mate. <laughs> Do you, do you not know your own flag? You're gonna put the eagle <laughs> you in, know in, your in own the flag? middle of the number. Come on, man. I'm not really making that too much of a big deal, dog. Oh man. oh man, good win though. Good win. America, America on the roll. Henry Martin, he might start for Mexico, bro. He might, bro. He, might, he might start. He might start yeah. with. But uh, yeah, as, as it thinks stands right now, America is uh, first place with 35 points. Monterrey on the ass with 34. They're right yeah. there. Uh, Pachuca with 28, and then Santos with 27. Cecilio playing for Santos, you know. Um, I think he got an, an assist a couple games I ago off of did. a corner kick. He did. He did. Uh, and then, um, real special corner kick because a goalie scored that that header at yes, the end of it. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Acevedo scored it. Yep. Young young and goalkeeper. Then, uh, Querétaro in the mud. With hey, all, all I know is Chivas is, is in seventh place. We're in playoffs right now, so you're good. Damn, we're good right good. now. We're yeah, good that's, right now. That's, that's you're good for you. That's but good for it, you. But it's cause it's cause in La Liga. MX, there's no shield. All you got to do is just get into the playoffs. Get into the playoffs, bro. Get into the playoffs, and then we could talk. And hay apertura y clausura. So, essentially, there's like two mini seasons yes. instead of one big one. And everybody knows in the Mexican League, whoever is first place doesn't win the la, tournament. ¿Cómo se dice? La, the curse. The curse. Yeah, the it's curse. Una, una curse for, for Super Leader. So. I wonder when was the last time the first place won the league. I can't remember, but I, it, it, it had to have happened before. Yeah. It had to happen before. Where, where, where's, where's Pumas at? Danny Alves? Damn. 16. 16? Danny Alves, what's going <laughs> on, bro? I mean, Alves, did, bro. if you really expected Danny Alves to take you to playoffs, I Come mean, on, bro. I mean at, least, at least something. Come Danny on, Alves bro. signing to Pumas is like Ache Ache signing to Houston, bro. Come exactly. On. Great, great comparison. Ooh. Great comparison. Bro, can you believe Houston Dynamo fans? Or defending Ache Ache, being at the Grupo Firma concert, they, getting the else, shot? What else did they get have? Get in the shot? What defending that, that, bro. That, defending that, bro. That, bro. I, you know what I told them? Embarrassing. You know what I told them? I did something Bali would do. I said, you know what? Praying for y'all. Yeah, that's, <laughs> all, that's all you can I do. That's all that. you can do, bro. I told them that. I told them, you know what? Praying for y'all. He's spending that bag, bro. He's spending that He's bag. Spending bro, that taking bag. shots. Concert, bro. Taking Don Julio shots at a group of firme concert while his, while, while his team is v bottom VIP, of the West. VIP, VIP. And he's injured. He's injured. So Alcohol's not going to help you, bro. I'm I'm sorry I'm sorry I, that that's all I'm saying on Houston praying for them, prayers up for y'all. B, did you find it? No. I'm looking at it right now. Um, man, I'm gonna go through a lot of data, but we're gonna get it for the next part. We'll get it for the next. So we'll keep in mind. But look, hey man, we're we're talking a little bit of uh, Liga MX. I want to bring it up. America's doing great. I mean, we're, we're gonna try to talk a little bit more Liga MX in the next part because. Uh, that's a league that I grew up in as a kid. That's the league that got me in love with the sport. Uh, the America playoffs was, are coming up, right? Playoffs are coming up, too. It's wrapping up uh, the season. So we're going to be definitely talking Liga MX because, you know, this is the league that, that made me fall in love with the sport. You know, when I met Hernan, he was wearing a uh, um, uh, Chivas backpack. I was wearing the America backpack, and that's how, that's how it all started. So we'll definitely talk some more Liga MX. Uh, right here, bro, it's saying, uh, I, I found a quick little stat. Yeah. Everybody that's paid attention to Liga MX knows that Toluca had a real special team with uh, Cardoso, yeah, Vicente yeah, yeah. Sanchez. Oh, yeah, remember you remember that, those years? Remember yes. They were campeón super leader three times, if I'm not mistaken. That's what, that's what this Damn. this thing is saying. Okay. So it, it has been done, but it's not often. It's not often. It's, it's not often, curse. and it's, it's, a a curse. Curse. it's a curse. It's a curse. It's a curse. It's a curse. Well, that's all I got, brother. Me too, mate. Yeah. Bali, anything else you want to add, mate? Great show, baby. Yes, sir. We yes, sir. are top of the league. Yeah, we are top of the league. <laughs> we are top. Bro. Loving it, baby. Loving life wow. right now. We're about to go into a little, little, little international, international break. break. We got yep. some stuff cooking for you guys. Man, yeah, we, we appreciate got. everybody that listens to the podcast. If you're still listening to us, 
you know, we're about an hour. We're about an hour and 23 minutes in the pod. I mean, if you're still listening to us, man. Uh, we yeah. love you, though. We, we, we love, love you. you. We okay. love you. I love you. There like, are there up. are yeah. like, there I are top you. flight fans that listen to the whole pod. Straight through. Yeah. I mean, love y'all. Real fans, man. I, I love it. For you guys are the reason why we stay up and edit and, and do all this stuff. We love to do it, but uh, y'all are the reasons. I mean, y'all are our audience, so Facts. we appreciate y'all. And um, we're trying to go to that thousand. So you know, make sure to tell a friend. You know, shout us out and and, and reply, comment. If you if, if you disagree with me, I love the I love the disagreement. Comment. You know, what I mean, if you want to DM somebody, DM me. Bro, a, a lot of fans DM me stuff about Bali, about Why you, you? Oh. primo. Oh, yeah. a, a, a lot of the fans but come out know. come out for y'all, but they message me. So mm. drop a comment. Yeah. So yeah. I, so so, so so I gotta make sure to bring y'all to uh, y'all. It's fine. DM me. DM me. DM at me, at me. It is what it is. You know, we're not going to like, look, man, we're not. It's all right. Like, if I'm wrong, I want people to call me out when I'm wrong. If you disagree, disagree with me. It Bro, somebody somebody even said that they want to do trial by combat with you. Oof. Trial what? by combat. Do we have weapons? Can we get weapons? Yeah, you can choose one weapon. Do we have to what? stand on like a plank and shit? Like, uh, You got to do trial by combat, but jousting. Oh, on the horse. On a horse. On a bro. horse. Oh jousting. God. So well, I don't know. On some Game of Thrones shit. On some Game of Thrones. <laughs> on some House of Dragon. On some House of Dragon. House of Dragon. Shit. Tonight, yeah. new episode. Sunday. Hey, I'm excited for that, bro. I Let's know you are. Yeah, I know yeah. you are. Tonight, yeah. actually, uh, Renera Targaryen. It's her last episode. Her the actor. But her the and actor, Allison's the actor. actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before the next jump. What a what a great job those those actors have done. I mean, I'm I'm in love with this. I'm in love with the Game of Thrones, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. It's an interesting show. I will say the least. <laughs> uh, but yeah. We're going to, I guess, end it here, guys. Yes, Thank you for yes, listening sir. to the Top Fly Podcast, everybody. And we're going to keep the content coming for y'all. Make sure to subscribe, like B said. Tell a friend we need to get to those 1,000 subscribers and then more on that. We're chasing 10K on Instagram. Give us a follow Let's on Instagram, it. please. Uh, chasing 5K on Twitter. We just reached 4K recently, so that's the next goal as well. But thank you for all the support that you guys show us and you guys you know, give to us. I love you. Feel the love 100%. I like Bali said, I love you. You know, like I can't, I can't go. Like, there's multiple times where I've gone to Q2 Stadium and they say, "Hey, Top Flight, hey, yeah. we're awesome I TV. It. I love what you do." Like just yesterday, some guy came up. Yeah, to me us too, bro. At the fan yeah. reactions, and he works for NASCAR. Oh, and he nice. said, he said he was like, "Hey, I know what like goes into everything that you guys do, and like I just want to say that thank you so much for all the content you guys put out, and it made me feel special. You know, it made made the whole team feel special. You know, because." The fact that they say, like, they know what goes into it and they see what we do. Yeah. It just adds more fuel to the engine. Yeah. I mean, we do it for you guys. Yeah. Appreciate 100%, 100%. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Bali, anything you want to add, mate? Man, I love the fans, bro. I do this for them. 100%. 100%. Smell the gloves. Smell the gloves. <laughs> Smell the gloves. <laughs> hey, <laughs> go ahead, B. You good? <laughs> Primo? Yeah, I'm good, bro. All right, All right, bro. It's been the Top Flight Podcast episode number? 63. 63. We're going to get to 69 here soon. Thank you for listening. Top Flight Podcast. You already know. Let's get it. I think it was 64, actually. I don't know. I don't know. I think it was 60. It is 64. It is 64.